Luke Gronke joins us. Thank you so much for that. Two more T20s to go after this one. 2-1 now in the series. A win after losing the first two. So, how do you evaluate that? Uh, it's been really good. I think the guys have sort of been adapting to, to new conditions for a lot of them uh, and sort of putting into just trusting sort of the learnings they're taking from each game and going into each game sort of prepared to sort of face what's in front of them and, and sort of put their best foot forward. And I think after tonight's performance, to get a win was fantastic. Um, and also, you must be very pleased with the bowlers because 163, that's it's not a huge total to defend. Uh, it's not, but 166 is, is sort of a par score here. So um, we're sort of around the mark there. So, the, But the bowlers came out really well um, early on, took them early wickets, which is always a massive thing in T20 cricket. So uh, you always expect teams to come back and fight strong, and, and Pakistan did that. But then uh, they did really well to, to take those bottom few wickets to get us that win. After losing the first two, uh, you know, what did you and your fellow coaching staff do to say to the players to put that behind them and to get up for this one? Yeah, it's a lot of it is. So a lot of the guys haven't actually toured here. So they are sort of learning on the fly. We've only had one one training session, so that always sort of makes it quite difficult to to try and put things into practice that we sort of we speak about. Um, but the guys have been really good and understand that they need to keep trusting their game styles and their skill sets and and what they sort of bring to the table anyway, and just add those little bits and pieces that can help them, um, I guess, develop their games to to perform on these conditions. So the guys have been really receptive to that. They've been really good at talking with each other, talking with the with the support staff about how how they can go about it and how they can help the team out. So um, the guys have been fantastic there, and, and yeah, the performance has been getting better as the series is going along. You know, with the IPL going on at the moment, and I know that, I mean, I don't know what the politics are, but the Pakistani players can't play. I mean, it means that you get to see Baba Azam up close. That innings of his the other day was pretty spectacular, wasn't it? It was, it was. I mean, at the moment, this, their team is is at full strength. I mean, they've got some fantastic batters and, and some fantastic balls. So for these guys, it is it is a tough task. Uh, but the guys have really um, gelled well and nothing out of those performances that are actually going to, going to challenge some of the best teams in the world and to do it against Pakistan in Pakistan is a, a fantastic achievement and they've got obviously Bob is amazing Rizwan Shaheen Afridi Harris Raf they've got an endless sort of list of names that, that are uh, higher class performers at the international level so our guys have been fantastic to compete against them so ours is a, is a weakened squad it's not a New Zealand B or C team but I mean we are missing some really key players let's acknowledge that yeah yeah I mean obviously with the IPL we've, we've got a few guys there and there's a couple of injuries to some, some bigger name players as well. So, uh, but that's that's part of it. That's international cricket, and that's just cricket in general. So, the guys here have performed well domestically and on the international stage to be at this um, on this tour. So that's that's what it is, and the guys know that, and they're here to perform and and do their very best to also learn as as the tour goes along. So, uh, it's fantastic to see the guys really gelling and and enjoying the challenge that is is touring Pakistan and touring on different surfaces and against high-class opposition. So it's been fantastic to watch. Yeah, Luke, just explain that a bit further, bud. So just in terms of, you know, the, what it takes to play in Pakistan. We weren't, I mean, we're, let's be let's remember, people, that we were there playing test matches not that long ago. So a lot of these guys, you know, they, there is some familiarity there. Yeah, but there's also, I mean, I think we've seen it before. I think we're, it was about five of the best men that we have here have been here before. So that's not a not a high number. A lot of guys, some of them haven't played, uh, well, they've played a handful of international games. So it's, the learnings are around the surface, around the conditions, the size of the ground, sort of for a bowler, what lengths they might have to bowl for a batter is sort of shots that maybe aren't sort of, um, they're more high risk than sort of, uh, so it's, there are different aspects or uh, points that, that add to, to the game and make it that little bit harder when you go overseas so um, that's an exciting thing to, to watch guys try and develop those I think that's part of international cricket because you can't always play on New Zealand surfaces all around the world so it's good to see guys that can perform at home they go away they, they add to their skill sets and it helps them perform all around the world because when you're wearing the, the, the fern for New Zealand and this is the Black Caps playing it's not a developmental tour and it can't be considered that but there are aspects to that isn't there how do you kind of balance that up because you are trying to blood some new players and you're trying to give experience to guys yeah it is 
it is not a, a funny situation to be in because every nation goes through it. That's just part of it with injuries and different things going on. But um, it is. It's uh, There are the learnings, but you also want to put those learnings into practice and, and see the team sort of developing and, and competing in games of cricket. I mean, that's that's why we play this. You all want to compete. You always want to win. But um, in reality, you're not going to do that all the time. So it's, it's making sure the guys add as much... Uh, their skills as they can and, and all sort of put it together as a team and, and hopefully the, the performances are there to, to get your victories um, but that's also part of these sorts of tours is is going in open-mindedly and sort of understanding that you're not going to win every game there's there are learnings going to be had from from players and, and from support as well so it's, it's a cool little thing to watch from both sides of the Luke is there, is there a single New Zealand flag or fan in those stands mate? <laughs> this one in our chain room. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm not sure there'll be too many supporters here. Got, I know I'm doing it. Grant Elliott and Kyle Mills are here. Come and Paddy, they'll be supporting us. Um, but outside of that, I can't imagine there's too many New Zealand supporters here. Okay, so they lead to one. Just, you know, forgive me for asking this, but is this, do these points go towards the next one day, uh, sorry, T20 World Cup? No. No. Okay. These are the. Uh, Extra games that have been scheduled in for, for yeah, for the for the BCs, for Black Cups. Okay, and then the the five one day is that we're playing after that as well, people, because I mean these come thick and fast as well. They don't go towards the one day World Cup at the end of this year either, do they? Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I don't think so. Um, but we've also already qualified for that. So yeah, that's right. Added yeah, game time to yeah, like you said before, sort of upskill players and and see sort of the skills people can can add to this team and, and to themselves to sort of, I guess, push their players for the World Cup selection. Yeah, I mean, is that is that part of what, you know, your brief is as is, is well, to be penciling that kind of stuff down? Because this is as, as close as we're going to get, I suppose, before we actually start their tournament in India. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, there's always um, players and, and how they perform, and, and sort of you want to see what's, what's about and who's sort of pushing the... The main guys along as well, and, and guys that can perform in the subcontinent can push their claim for a World Cup berth. So and that's definitely part of of the. Do they play? Oh, it's probably a dumb question, mate. Do they play any IPL at all in Pakistan? And if you're watching it, how do you get to watch it? Um, a lot of the guys have actually got these um, fire sticks that they put into their TVs, so they can watch sort of sport from all around the world. Uh, and they go sort of keep up to date on the scores and. And they chat to the guys over there, how they're going and those sorts of things. But there's only a couple of our guys playing at the moment. Um, okay. But the guys, yeah, guys keep tabs on all sorts of cricket around the world.